to throw Cousins. That's to Dalvin Cook, his running back. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. They'll give him eight on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down to throw his Cousins. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. With that interception, he just set a record that nobody ever wants to set, and that's the most picks ever in an NFL game. Eight. Eight. The eight. Eight. The last time we saw seven, 2001, right? Yeah. Tied up. He's with the Lions at that time. To get to eight, are we sure he knows what color jerseys his team's wearing in this one? He's, I don't know. It has not been good. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. Hey, 18, 18, 18. Again, it's Cohen. And down he'll go at the 25. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. They go play action here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Anthony Barr comes rumbling in for the sack. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Now it's Trubisky. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris. And the return will stop right around the 25. The number seven, usually lucky here. Not for him. Seven picks he's thrown in this game. That's only happened six times since 1960. And I know that the most recent time it happened, the guy who threw him, he had won a Heisman Trophy in college, so sometimes you just have a lousy game. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad career, but when you're talking about one game, seven, you're right, not lucky at all. And Thielen's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. Adam Thielen there to make the grab as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. But what a quick turnaround there. They get the football, next play, boom, touchdown. I've been in a situation before where a turnover occurs, and if you're over on the bench with your defensive mate, and you talk about what to do on your next series, and all of a sudden you hear sudden change, you've got to get out on the field and defend right away. Not everyone is mentally prepared to go. Is that what is yelled on the sidelines a lot of times? That, among other things. <laughs> Maybe some words we can't share here. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep this one PG. FCC violation. No doubt. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They start from scratch here, so to speak. 14 all following the interception last time that led to a score. Now they've got it first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. They'll run on first down. Cook. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Minnesota. Taking it in from four yards out. And they are able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. And they got the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. 
That's fielded in the end zone. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. And give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. Check, 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 check. Protein spill. Here's Trubisky. It's complete on the bubble screen. That's Cohen. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. And on this play, the read for the quarterback was the defensive end, and he was totally focused on the quarterback. He should have given it off inside to the running back. Instead, he kept it and ended up taking a loss on the play. And Robinson with a big catch. The 20, 10, touchdown, Chicago. Allen Robinson, his second touchdown of the afternoon, as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Oh, he's got a little daylight. A big hitter. That one goes for 40 yards. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. And they're going to go with the jet sweep. This is Diggs with it. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he'll finally be taken down at the 18. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. Cook with the first down and much more. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. Gun. They'll run for it with Cook. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. On second and goal, Cook waiting in the backfield all alone. He's going to get it running right. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Second 
From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Dalvin Cook with his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And they will take a seven-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. He spins free. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of... And that's caught inside the 35. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. So what can the Bears do here as they'll go for two? Back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. So still a small chance here with a little over 30 seconds to go, but they're definitely going to need this one to bounce their way. And this is going to be recovered by the hand seam. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it. They do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. 80 weapon. Gun. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, yo. I know, easy, easy. Cousins to throw for it on four. And he's going to be taken down here. Back across midfield, three yards away from midfield at the 47. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. Mike. Come on. One last shot for Trubisky. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And did he catch it? He did. A touchdown. One of the most improbable finishes in recent history. They've won it on the final throw. Sometimes it comes down to one final play. A dramatic, dramatic finish to this one. And no player will ever admit to, hey, this is how I want to win a game. But behind closed doors at night as they're going to sleep, they do think about those dramatic endings. And how about that one? Go up and get it. Hail Mary. And Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Completes it to the tight end, Burton. And he'll be out of.